What's up? I am Stafford Beats. Making good beats is not hard. It's really not hard. So we're just gonna mess with some different sounds, see what we come up with. But I have a good feeling about this, so let's get straight into it. So just before I started the recording, I found this sample while I was looking through some of my kits. And it's in the Beats by Cryptic kit. I think it just sounds kind of cool. We could probably use it as like an intro. And then we're not even gonna worry about that for a while. So I'm just gonna save this. Got my rocket ship sign on a laptop right now. Let's go. So I'm gonna completely disregard the key that the intro thing is in, and I'm just gonna make something that sounds cool. And it's just gonna transition into it. And I just envisioned something with the drums hitting right off the bat. I don't know, man. I don't like to go into a beat with an idea too set in stone. I actually just heard a quote from Jacob Collier recently, but he said, that anybody that knows what they're doing in music doesn't make good music. So, hey, I have no idea what's going on right now. I'm just gonna click some stuff and we're gonna see what goes down. We got some crazy sounds in this. This is Insights. It's on producer great. It's pretty cool. I fuck with it. Damn, that sounds crazy. Damn, that's kind of crazy already, what? Okay, I think we might have to use another one for that kick because that's kind of cool. Let's see what else we can stack on top of that. See, if I went into this knowing what I wanted to do, I wouldn't have found that sound, so. Okay, let's do some bass. Honestly, I like just the one note bass here. It doesn't have to be too crazy. Maybe we'll switch it up later in the beat. Maybe we won't. I'm gonna see. But I'm gonna use a third sound from this and see what happens. We're gonna start at the bottom because I always start at the top. I kinda like this already, so. Oh. very inspired by a lot of the things that I've been listening to recently and I'm honestly I haven't been listening to a lot of rap type stuff just in general it's been a lot of pop a lot of EDM a lot of stuff like that I feel like I don't use quirky sounds like this very often so I'm gonna try something with it I'm kind of I'm kind of fucking with it low-key I'm not doing anything crazy. You know, there's nothing like secret about what I'm doing. I'm just filling up the pockets, listening, and I'm just figuring out where stuff sounds good. You know what I mean? So I always like to add pianos in my stuff. That's just kind of a thing I've been on lately. All right, so I think I'm actually gonna speed this up a little bit. It's 145 right now, we'll go to like 152. Yeah, that's hard. All right, so I'm gonna use some drums that y'all don't have access to yet. You've been following me, you know Drum Demon 2, you know Drum Demon 1, legendary kits. They've been out for a while on Producer Crate. I think Drum Demon 2, when I'm recording this video, might have like 20 copies left, something like that. The version that I'm using right now is like 90% done. Lucky added so many amazing sounds. We have uh, an analog lab bank that's coming with it. All sorts of goodies. I'm really excited to announce that. So for now, you can see some of the sounds, but unfortunately it's not available. But if you still need your fix of hard trap sounds, we got Drum Demon 2, you know what I'm saying? We got, listen to these 808s. I'll be using the Jack 808 with, where is it? With this Falcon hi-hat. Those two together, man, they just. So let's go through some of these new 808s. I'm 
kind of fucking with his grunge 808. I've been liking the hi-hats like this, like there's no limit one where there's a little bit of extra room on it. It's not as tight. I know a lot of people been on the tight hi-hat wave, but not me, man. All right, so I'm about to mute the bass. Oh yeah, bruh, bruh. This is already gonna sound insane. So one thing I'm doing with my drums here is I'm giving them a lot of breathing room. Like some of them are drawn out like that. It's pretty drawn out, but there's the little pocket here. It makes a difference. Like if I have it like this, it sounds like this. If I have it like this, it takes longer to fade out. So I like when I can control it fully, you know, like that. And then same with right here. And then same with right here. And I'm creating these pockets so I can put other drums in there. That's where you really, really get the bounce from. So we'll try something with this. You hear the 808 goes out right here, so. So we can put a sound there and it just it gives it more bounce, you know what I mean? We can even take out the hi-hat. I'm all for a simple but fire beat, but when you can spice it up just a little bit, make it stand out from the rest, come on. So that's basically it for this beat. I'm just gonna arrange it real quick. All right, so here is the finished beat. Now we're gonna move on to the next one. This part is so crazy, bro. All right, let's move on to the next beat. So now we are going to make the second beat to show you that beats are so easy, bro. When you're that talented, it's easy. That's crazy. All right, so I am gonna make another beat with Drum Demon 3, which y'all don't get yet. This one also has a sound kit in it, by the way, so it's got like, all these bell loops and all that crazy shit. If you want your fix for that, you can get Origins by Lucky. Origins is our other kit that we dropped with him, the Super Fire. Drum Demon 3 is basically gonna be a mix between the two and it's gonna be so fire, bro. It's got a perk drum kit, so you can make your own perk loops and shit. With all these, they're all like filtered and everything. They sound dope. And I don't know anybody else that has a kit like that. Somebody I'm sure does, cause there's like a billion kits out there, but now you know one. And these are so easy. Boom, 21 Savage type beat. Future type beat. 42 Doug type beat. Juice World type beat. Like literally anything. A fucking pop ballad. Man, Lucky sent me this exact loop right here, and I've been thinking about it ever since. So I think I think I gotta make something with it, cause it's just it's so fire. So let's mix some other stuff. We got guitar phrases, flute phrases, key phrases, string phrases. We also have vocal loops. We can see if anything goes with that.
So like we could try this. And it's, it's gonna time stretch already too, so you don't even need to worry about that. Wait, what you mean, bro? Why is that so far? Throw some hi hat, maybe. So I'll probably do something with that. I might switch the hi-hat sound to something a little bit higher. Except this one, I'm gonna make it a little bit tighter. We're gonna go crazy with the bounce on this one. So we'll do some really tight drums here, like that. Simple as fuck. Well, the last beat, we went a little crazier with the melody and that was kind of the, the star of the show, but this time it's gonna be the drums. Already, the Flare 808 pulling through. Oh my. All right, so these ones we're gonna keep a little bit shorter. Boom. Yeah, that's so fire. So I'm also gonna switch up the hi-hats just a little bit, just to complement the 808s a little better. So I like using these very quick hi-hats sometimes like this. It's just so bouncy, right? I'm gonna use this filtered snare, do a little ch -ch -ch at the end. And then I'm gonna mess with the panning on that. And then I'm gonna be a lot more subtle on the first one, like that. And this is something an artist would use already. Like I work with so many artists, man, they don't, they don't need it to be crazy intricate. I'm not saying make a bunch of simple beats because I'm very anti always making simple beats, but sometimes you just, you shine a little bit in the drums, but it's not so crazy and out there the artist doesn't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So let's try this. I'm gonna make a second 808 pattern where I'm gonna have something very similar, but I'm gonna have a longer 808 just so it switches it up. You know what? I really like the way this reverse sounds. I think we're gonna replace these with that. So it sounds like this. Yeah. That's crazy. See, I don't know what I'm doing, man, but we make it work. All right, so now I'm gonna put this 808 in and see if we can get it sounding good. We're changing the notes on this 808 too because it's so implanted in the producer's brains that you gotta use the root note for every single 808. Keep the 808 in key and keep it in a note that sounds good, but like you don't need to be on the root note. Rules, especially in music, are meant to be broken. Keep that in mind before you do the same thing that you've been doing for years on the same beat. You know how I'm talking about. 
I'm pretty sure this is already half times, but we're gonna try half timing it again. I haven't done a half time intro in so long, man. And then I feel like this needs the classic swoosh too. You get that from the industry standard drum kit. It's nothing crazy. Bunch of people have swooshes. This is a nice little transition. So I'm gonna slap my tag on this and that's it, man. Like I said, it's not hard to make good beats. Just try shit. Remember, if you know what you're doing, you don't make good music, apparently. So don't learn anything. That's what I'm teaching you right now is don't learn anything ever. Just press random notes till shit sounds good. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, please like, it helps me out. Drum Demon 3 coming soon, man. And make sure to check out that Insights Bank that I was using at the start of the video. It's crazy. If you got any questions, let me know in the comments. Other than that, I'll see you next time.